I'll show you how to find all the cuts in your video using the Scene Edit Detection feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's fast, easy, and a total game changer. All you have to do is right-click on your video, scroll down, and select Scene Edit Detection. Make sure you check Apply a Cut at each detected cut point, then click Analyze. And just like that, Premiere Pro does all the heavy lifting for you. Each cut in the video is now separated into its own clip, ready for you to edit. This tool is perfect for working with pre-edited footage, old projects, or even repurposing content. It saves so much time and ensures your workflow is super smooth. See you in the next video. I'll show you how to export a transparent video in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Once you have your motion graphics or text ready in the timeline, head up to Export. Under the Format dropdown, select QuickTime. This format allows you to maintain transparency while keeping high-quality visuals. Now, go down to the Video section and change the video codec to Animation. This is the key setting that enables transparency. Scroll down until you see Depth. By default, it will be set to 8-bit, but we need to change it to 8-bit plus Alpha. The Alpha channel ensures that the transparency is preserved when exporting. Now, hit Export. Once it's done, bring the file back into Premiere Pro and place it on a timeline. You'll notice that the background remains transparent, meaning you can now overlay it on any footage or design without any extra work. And that's it! See you next time! I will show you how to recover missing clips or audio. When you notice something is missing in your timeline, simply move your playhead to the area where the missing clip should be. Whether it's audio or video, click on the clip and press F. This is the Match Frame shortcut in Premiere Pro, and it automatically analyzes and locates the missing section in your timeline. Not a fan of shortcuts? No problem! You can also find this feature by heading to the Sequence menu and clicking on Match Frame. Once the match is made, you'll see the clip appear in your source monitor. From there, it's easy. Drag the video or audio-only sections back to your timeline using the icons in the source monitor. Also, very important, make sure your source patching for inserts and overwrites is enabled for the appropriate tracks, like V1 for video and A1 for audio. Repeat for any missing sections until your timeline is restored. And that's it! If this tutorial helped you, hit that like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks. See you next time! I'm going to show you how to create the dolly zoom effect in Premiere Pro. To achieve this effect, you'll need a clip that actively zooms into the screen. First, open your clip in Premiere Pro and navigate to the Effect Controls panel. Enable the stopwatch icons for scale and position at the start of your clip. Next, move the playhead to the end of the clip and add two more keyframes for scale and position. Move the playhead back at the beginning. Adjust the values to ensure that your main subject remains in the same location throughout the clip. This alignment ensures the illusion of the dolly zoom effect, where the subject appears static while the background dynamically shifts. And there you have it a simple yet impactful technique that takes your videos to the next level. Thanks for watching! I'll show you how to properly isolate colors in Premiere Pro. Add your video to the timeline. Once your video is in place, go to the top menu, click Window, and ensure that Lumetri Color is enabled. Select the video clip on your timeline to begin editing. Next, open the Lumetri Color panel and navigate to the Curves section, Look for Hue versus Saturation. Select the eyedropper and click on the color in your video that you want to isolate. This will automatically add three points to the curve. The middle point represents the color you've selected. The two adjacent points represent the nearest hues to that color. Now, adjust the curves to isolate the selected color. Leave the middle point untouched. Hold Shift to lock vertical movement for precision, then drag the two adjacent points all the way down. This will desaturate all other colors in your video, leaving only the chosen hue. If you notice that parts of your selected color aren't fully isolated, you can refine the selection. Drag the adjacent points closer or further out on the curve to include more or less of the desired hue. To make the isolated color pop even more, go to the Basic Correction section in the Lumetri Color panel. Add some contrast to enhance the effect and make your video stand out. And that's it! You've successfully isolated a color in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching!